Well, we're here in the Circa Core booth, which means close to the heart. And I have with me a physician, Abe Kiani, who is the VP for Medical Affairs? Yes, VP of Medical Affairs for Circa Core Labs and a practicing anesthesiologist as well. And a practicing anesthesiologist as well, so he has credibility on the topic. And what we're going to talk about is really interesting, and that is a non-invasive way of monitoring your hemoglobin. So tell us a little bit about your um, technology. So our technology is a technology that's actually licensed uh, to a company, uh, Massimo Corporation, that uses the uh, technology worldwide in hospitals to measure hemoglobin non-invasively. We took that technology and realized, you know what, there is a great application for athletes, in particular elite athletes who want to train at altitude to be able to track their hemoglobin over time. So this device is not a medical device, but rather a consumer health product that lets uh, athletes, consumers monitor their hemoglobin over time and see how either changes in altitude or changes in diet and training are affecting their hemoglobin levels. So because it's not a medical device, it's really, as you said, a consumer device, I'm assuming you didn't have to do anything with the FDA? That's correct. This is, we're not, uh, the device is not marketed and is not sold as a way to uh, treat or diagnose anemia. Uh, it's strictly a health tracker and one of the parameters being hemoglobin that we're tracking. So you know that I have to ask you about not so good uses of this because we're all familiar with uh, what's going on in, in uh, a lot of um, sports today where there's been different kinds of abuse including blood doping and use of EPO. Um, how do you think this can, well first of all I'm, I'm assuming you have no control over it being used for that kind of activity, Correct. but how do you see it helping athletes to not have to go that route? Well, this device really is to help uh, athletes do the proper, what I call, uh, natural self-doping. We all know uh, as physicians that at higher altitude, there's lower oxygen tension, and athletes for years have uh, utilized this knowledge by going up to altitude and training. The problem is that the effects of altitude training uh, take anywhere from two to four weeks, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Just like everything else that we've learned in physiology, there's variation amongst people. So up until this point, it was a shot in the dark. An athlete would go up to altitude, stay there perhaps too long, may not stay there long enough, see some initial changes that were just plasma volume changes and not true hemoglobin changes. And realistically, who wants to get poked multiple times uh, a day or even a week uh, for hemoglobin? So now that same athlete can resort to doing the, the self-doping, the, the natural self-doping, and go to altitude and train, track their hemoglobin, and know when they've reached their peak uh, from erythropoiesis and come back down and perform at their peak when they go to compete at sea level. So I think we'll close with this. Uh, do you have any success stories to tell me? Do you have anybody who's you know been on the Olympic podium who can say, hey, you know, it was Circa Core that did it for me? Well, I, it's funny you mention that. Uh, Jared Schumacher, whom you see behind us on these videos, is one of uh, our athletes who's used the device. He's a Olympian, uh, two-time Olympian, uh, and triathlete um, uh, winner uh, in the past, and he has used our uh, device and has. Uh, seen its value and is actually here helping us uh, promote it and uh, being a voice of uh, positivity regarding uh, its value. Well, I want to thank you very much for taking time uh, with uh, to explain this to us and I wish you the best of luck. I think it would be fantastic if we had a more natural way for athletes to attain the peak performance that they want and it sounds like this is a great tool to help them do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.